Hey guys, Gokusum for the one here, and welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle on my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys a Wi-Fi battle I did a couple of days ago on my stream against my good friend Mello. As you can see, he brought a mono dark team, which looks pretty frail, but it was a hard team to deal with, and on my side of the field, I have an OU team. Let's see what happens. Now, at the beginning of the battle, I really didn't predict anything to happen. I just went for a uh, random Pokemon. I threw out Tornadus, and it didn't go in my favor because he did bring out Weavile. I didn't want to deal with the potential two ice moves that this Pokemon could run. Ice Shard and Ice Cool Crash, so I switched into my Heatran, predicting one of those ice type moves to come out. He goes for a fake out and doesn't do too much damage to Heatran. We were able to get most of our health back from leftovers right here which was nice and he does withdraw his shadow stalker just because he knew he probably couldn't do anything to my heatran and that also revealed that he potentially didn't have low kick or he would have went for it now i went for stealth rocks here and he's not able to switch out as much as he would like to now because if he does he's going to take a lot of damage for it now i did switch out right here because haunch Grow does pretty much always run superpower i don't really want to deal with that thing uh, Heatran won't be able to tank one superpower, maybe two, but I doubt he would be able to tank one. So I switched into my Tornadus, knowing I would be able to tank it. He goes for a Sucker Punch, and thanks to that attack drop that happened last turn, I was able to live it and get a Hurricane off, and as well as a Confusion, which was nice. Now, sadly, the Confusion doesn't really work in my favor here. He does hit through it and gets a Sucker Punch off. I shouldn't have really banked my whole turn on that one confusion just because I was going to lose my Tornadus if he hit through it, which I did. And he was also going to get a Moxie boost, which brought his attack back to neutral, which was not good for me. He is still confused though, on the other hand, and he does get hit this time, which is nice. Swag Daddy does take a lot of damage back down to red health, or down to red health. He was never at red health from the beginning. <laughs> he was at green health. He does hit through the confusion again though, and gets a nice and clean superpower off onto my Rotom. Does lose some attack and defense for his troubles though. And I do get a Volt Switch off game, that guaranteed kill on that flying type Pokemon. And we even got the critical hit, just rubbing his face a bit. It was pretty nice. He was pretty salty in chat when that happened because he was like, really? Crit? Why'd that have to happen to me? Now I switched to my Ro or not my Rotom, my Heatran right here. Not really predicting anything. Again, when I switch out on my first Pokemon, or if I Volt Switch out and I kill Pokemon, and it's kind of like we both have to switch into Pokemon, I personally don't like predicting. I just throw out a random Pokemon. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, it didn't work out for me. He brought out Scrafty. He trends really weak to that Pokemon just because of Drain Punch and D-Dance. So, I switch into my Altaria here. My Altaria is Mega, so he is going to be a Fairy type. I knew I was going to be able to tank a fighting type move or something from the Scrafty, but I was not predicting what was coming ahead. I didn't know he would be running Ice Punch on a Scrafty. I personally don't run it. I know Ice Punch is a common move now, but at the time, I didn't know, so I stayed in. I went for the D-Dance though, and I knew next turn I was going to be able to outspeed, which was nice. We were going to be able to take him out with a return, but I went for another D-Dance. I don't know if this was greed or me trying to make like a random prediction or something like that, but I'm pretty confident it was a misclick. No one's that stupid to do that. You have a guaranteed kill right in front of you. Why not take it? He goes for a trade punch and takes out my Altari right here. Get a little bit of health back. I think that was one HP or something like that. My golden Altari, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to sack you like that. Get some Moxie boost. Also, at this point, he's probably times, I think he's times two attack and also times one speed, which is super scary. You don't want to deal with something like that, mostly when it's a Scrafty. Scrafty's a pretty strong Pokemon. So I switch in my Latios right here. I go for a Draco Meteor, knowing I would be able to outspeed and take out this thing pretty nicely. And it does. We do lose some special attack for our troubles, though. It doesn't really matter. We took out that huge threat, and we also took some damage from Life Orb. Now he switches switches into Sableye right here, and Sableye, it's probably one of the most annoying Pokemon ever to be spawned in Pokemon. I hate dealing with these things in battle. All they do is heal and burn you. That's all they, well, they don't heal you, they heal themselves and then they burn you, which is super annoying for physical mons, but right here, I just kept going for Draco Meteors. I needed to get a critical hit on this thing. I didn't want to switch out just because I didn't really have any other Pokemon that would have been able to dealt with it. 
uh, most of my Pokemon were physical that were left, and uh, they wouldn't be able to do anything to him because he was going to burn them, and Sableye, once you, he burns a Pokemon, he is pretty bulky. He's not the bulkiest Pokemon in the world, but thanks to his recover, it makes him bulky, and it was just going to be a pain to do, so I just kept going for the Draco Meteors, hoping it would take him out. Hopefully, we would get a crit sooner or later because we do not like doing this. No one likes doing this. No one likes the leftovers recover Sableye. He goes for another recover, of course. He is Prankster, making it probably more annoying because he does get his first uh, attack off. Not attack, his first move off, if it's not an attacking move. I do go for another Draco Meteor here. If I'm not mistaken, this turn we did get a critical hit, which we do, taking out that gems, which was nice. We don't have to deal with that annoying Pokemon anymore. We do take some damage from Life Orb right here and get some damage taken off of us from the burn as well and he brings back out shadow stalker weavile now right here i was like okay he's just going to go for a fake out uh, honestly i don't really need latios anymore so we're just going to sack him we're all, we're going to lose him from burn right here which kind of sucks but again latios did his job he took out that annoying pokemon stupid sableye no one likes that thing gotta keep saying that now right here i bring out my heatran Knowing that Heatran was going to be able to take out this Weavile because he doesn't run low kick on this thing. We learned that at the beginning of the battle when he didn't go for it at, I think it was like turn 2 or something. But he brings out his Houndoom, predicting me go for a Lava Plume, which I did just that. He gets his Flash Fire ability and his fire attacks get boosted, which is pretty scary. You do not want to have a Mega Houndoom that has a boosted fire attack just because Mega Houndoom's super good. Mostly if you can get some speed off. He's not super, super good because his speed is like base 100 if I'm not mistaken. But if you can get some pretty high speed on that thing, like maybe a Paton Pass Pokemon, this thing's going to be a pretty hard Pokemon to get taken out or to take out. Now, I went for a Lava Plume right there knowing he didn't have Flash Fire anymore. Uh, he went for a Dark Pulse and I went for a Toxic. Toxic was honestly the only thing I could have went for. Just because if I didn't go for it and went for the Lava Plume... Yes, it was going to take a pretty decent chunk out of him, but it wasn't going to die and he was going to be able to sweep the rest of my team. But if I did have this poison, which I do on him, we're going to be able to stall him out, which is our best bet at this point. Now, my Heatran does go down from that Dark Pulse. He does take another uh, decent chunk from that poison. I bring out Rotom. I was like, nah, we can take out this thing. We're Rotom. We're a water type against a fire type. But he takes me out with that nasty plot, Dark Pulse. The, again, this thing's pretty strong if you can get a nasty plot and some speed off onto this thing. He does take some more damage off poison from that poison though. I bring out Bisharp right here, and he was kind of scared of this thing. I was surprised. Maybe he only had a oh no, he had nasty plot. So I don't know why he just kept wouldn't have kept going for that. Probably didn't want to take the risk of me going for an Iron Head, predicting him for predicting for him to do that. But he does switch into Bisharp right here, and I went for the knockoff, taking out his black glasses. Now, I don't know what black glasses do, and I still... I didn't in the battle, and I still don't now. Um, I'm pretty sure it does something to boost Dark-type moves. I don't know why he would have ran that on his Bisharp. I personally love running Life Orb, probably the best item to run on Bisharp, other than Focus Sash, but... Yeah, so he went for an Iron Head. I went for an Iron Head myself, and we took out his Blue Ranger right here. Now, he should have just went for the super, super amazing prediction when he had his Houndoom out, but now he lost his Houndoom. He even lost his Bisharp, his full health Bisharp, that he could have saved if he went for that really good prediction. I don't know why he didn't go for it. Now, he brings out Stalker right here, and at this point, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Stalker versus my Bisharp, and I'm scared because he has more health than me. I know that this thing, his Weavile, is stronger than my Bisharp just because he's faster. That's the only thing that makes him stronger. But he went for the Ice Punch, I was like, at this point, GG, but I live with 1 HP, and we take him out with this Iron Head. This was my last Pokemon, I live with 1 HP. Such a good battle. GG's to my friend Mello. I had so much fun, man. I was so surprised I won this. Like, that was just... I personally think that was hacks. I think he got a low roll on his attack, but I have no idea. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle. If you guys want me to do more on my channel, go ahead and tell me in the description below to do more. If you want to battle me, go ahead and leave your FC. I'll definitely contact you and we can get a Wi-Fi battle. Maybe it'll end up on my channel. Also, give me some criticism. I want to know if my commentary th throughout these battles are nice or I need some little tweaking here and there. Anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.